Hi everyone, this is Reyoshi, an international student from India doing my PhD at Queen's. So this video is mainly targeted towards the students who already have completed their masters or will be doing in the next few months and is looking forward to apply for a PhD position in Queen's or somewhere in the UK. So in this video, I'm going to cover some of the essential tips to get into a PhD program and even get a funded PhD one. This video is going to be an informative and long one. So I've decided to uh, break this video into four sub parts and explain each of the steps, which is really crucial to apply for a PhD program. The first step, but yet a very crucial one, is a timeline for duplication and sorting of the universities. So since it's already the mid of November, I think it's the ideal time you should start preparing your PhD applications. Uh, the first that comes while preparing for the PhD application is the sorting of the universities according to your preference. At least that's what I did. Now I believe uh, for the sorting of the universities, uh, what comes into factor is not just a good ranking of the universities or the maybe the high research impact, but also the cost of living and how sustainable the university is. So that was one of my main reasons of applying to Queen's. Queen's, a Russell Group University and being in the top 200 universities of the world, having a high research impact. It is also located in one of the most cheapest and affordable cities of the UK, known as Belfast. Thus, choosing an affordable city like Belfast is an added bonus for sure. Usually, the universities will have ads posted for the relevant vacancies or the PhD opportunities in the website itself. Even though, due to the extremely competitive nature of the PhD programs, the funding opportunity for the international students are lesser, but still it's not like an impossible job to find a PhD funding which is suited for you. So you need to carefully check the funding details which is posted at the university website itself to know what funding suits you. If you are international or if you are local, it's different for different people. Nevertheless, in terms of PhD funding, Queen's University Belfast has a lot of opportunities for both internationals and locals. Now we come to the next crucial part which is writing an SOP and then preparing for the English language exams. A very important part of PhD applications is a well-written SOP as this can make or break your PhD applications. One thing your selection committee or your PI will actually check if your relevant skills and your background experiences are matching with the skills which is required for the PhD of that particular lab. So make sure to highlight them in your CV and even if you don't have all the relevant skills, just don't worry. Make sure you highlight your relevant qualities such as your willingness to learn new techniques as this shows that you are really interested in their project and you also have the eagerness to learn new skill sets or techniques for the next three years of your course. To apply for different universities, you also need to take an English language exam known as TOEFL or IELTS. Uh, but this is only true for the international students and each university has their own requirement or cutoff score. So make sure to check that out before you apply. Now the third step which comes is applying to the universities and for scholarships. So after you have sorted out the list of universities and the relevant projects that you like, the only thing left is to apply for the universities while you have all the documents prepared. So usually the deadlines for the PhD application they start from the beginning of the Jan and they continue till the mid of May. So around this time you will find a lot of projects advertised in the university sites and also on sites such as finderphd.com. So applying for a scholarship is also a relatively easy process because once you apply for the universities for the program, you by default apply for the scholarship itself. But if not, you can also check for external scholarships such as BBSRC, DTP and others, which is relevant for your field of studies. Or maybe you can also check for your country specific scholarship. Queen's University Belfast has both the options to apply for external scholarships as well as apply for internal scholarships within the university for your specific course curriculum. So the last point which comes is preparing for the interviews and the tips to ace it. So once you have applied for the universities, you just need to wait for the interview calls. So when it comes to PhD interviews, doing your research well about the lab and also your supervisor's previous work is really important as this will make you well prepared for the questions they might ask in the interview round. 
Not only that, it will also create a very good impression and likely they will understand that you are really eager to work in the lab. But most importantly, just being confident overall and demonstrating well your background and why do you want to pursue this particular PhD will likely increase your chances of getting this position. And last but not the least, just being on time for the interview and having a good sense of attire will only create a very positive first impression because first impressions are really important. So all the very best for your upcoming PhD interviews or your applications. And in case if you have any further questions, feel free to comment below and I will be more than happy to help you with all your queries. Thank you. Bye.